Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Just wrapped up this modern quickie for you to enjoy. This wrap top's light, airy, and super quick workout. Plus, it flatters the figure, which is always nice. I made it in about three hours, so I know there'll be plenty of remakes in the next few days, and I can't wait to see them for you in all the usual places. Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. Those links are down below, by the way. And while you're down there, do me a huge favor and give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel keep growing, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing and turn on all the notifications so you don't ever miss out on the tutorials and patterns that we got coming. Now it's time to get to work, so without further ado, for this project, any category 3 yarn will work, but I used a total of 80 grams of yarn, and that's 120 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 4mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us your favorite cheese. For me, I love Swiss. It's the perfect cheese, just enough milk with great flavor. Details for this giveaway is down below. We're using two stitches for this project and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. And single crochet. This tutorial is for size small, but you can adjust it for your size and explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're first going to grab our category 3 yarn and make a slip knot. From here, we're going to grab our 4mm hook and we're all going to start by making a chain of 1. Now that we have that one chain, we're going to do an additional 2 chains. There is one. There's two. We should have a total of three chains. The two chains that we made counts as a turning chain, not as a stitch. And what we're going to do is put four half double crochets into that first chain or the third chain from our hook. So we're all going to start with a yarn over. Inserting our hook into that first chain that we made, we're going to yarn over, pull through, should have three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. That is our first half double crochet. We're gonna be doing three more into that same chain. So yarn over, insert into that first chain, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, there's two. Yarn over into that same first chain, pull through, pull through three, there's three, and then just one more. Yarn over, Insert your hook into that first chain, pull through, and pull through three. Now we should all have a total of four stitches. Our next two rows are going to be moss stitch rows. So how we do that is always start with a chain two. We're going to flip our work. And from here, we're going to single crochet into the second stitch that we have. So the first chain that we made is going to count as our turning chain. The second chain is going to count as our chain one space. We're going to skip that first stitch and then single crochet into the next, forming our first chain one space. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two. That's our first single crochet. And if you guys pull it up just a little bit, that is our chain one space. We're going to do that one more time. So chain one. And then from here, we're going to skip one stitch, single crochet into the next. And that is our second chain one space. So we should all now have one, two chain spaces. We have another last stitch row to do. So start with a chain two and flip our work. Now we're going to single crochet into the chain spaces. So we're going to find that first gap, which is right here. This one's a little bit easier to see. Go ahead and insert your hook into there with one single crochet. And we actually just formed our first chain one space for this row as well. We're going to do that one more time because we have one more chain one space. That's a little hard to see, but it's there. So what we're going to do is chain one. Find that chain one space. Insert your hook with a single crochet. 
Now every third row is going to be a single crochet row with an increase, so let's do the first one together. Starting our single crochet rows, we're going to chain one and flip our work. Our increases is always going to be an increase of three because we need this to end on an even number. So insert your hook into that first stitch with one single crochet into that same first stitch with two single crochet, and then just one more time with a total of three single crochets. And when we have that, we're gonna continue to put one single crochet into every stitch and chain one space until we reach the end. The next available stitch that we have is this chain one space. Insert your hook into there with one single crochet. Our next stitch is this single crochet, so insert with one single crochet, and then we have one chain, one space left, so single crochet. And if you guys want to double check, our row number four should have a total of six stitches. Now let's do our next set of moss stitch rows. Always start with a chain two to start our moss stitch row and flip our work. We're always going to skip one stitch, single crochet into the next, making our first moss stitch row. And we're going to continue to do that, making our way all the way down. So chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet into the next, chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet into the next. So for this row, we should have a total of three chain spaces. There's one, there's two, and there's three. We're going to be doing one more moss stitch row, so start with the chain two. There's one, there's two, and flip our work. Now we're going to be single crocheting into the chain one spaces. So insert your hook into that first chain space with one single crochet, chain one, skip that single crochet stitch, then into that next chain one space, insert your hook with a single, and we should have just one more left to do. So chain one into that chain space, single crochet. Now we just did two moss stitch rows. Our next row is going to be a single crochet row, or that's going to be our row number seven. So start with a chain one and flip our work. We want all of our increases to be on the same side. So since my increase is along this side, we're going to be putting one single crochet into every stitch until we have just one stitch left. So insert your hook into that first stitch with one, into that chain space with one, and keep doing this until we have just one stitch left. Now this is our row number seven. We should all have one, two, three, four, five single crochets, and then we're going to do an increase of three. So into that last space, insert with one, same space, insert with two, and then insert with three single crochets, and that is our increase. And from here, we are going to continue to repeat this until this point reaches right where we want our strap to be. I'm gonna do another set with you guys, and then I'll let you guys move on from there. We just finished off our seventh row, or our single crochet row. So start with a chain two to start our moss stitch, flip our work. Skip one stitch, and single crochet into the next, forming our first moss stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one, single crochet. Chain one, skip one, and then single crochet. Our next row is another moss stitch row, so chain two, and flip our work. Into every chain one space, we're gonna put a single crochet with a chain one in between. So there's one, chain one, into the next chain one space, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, and single crochet. We just did two moss stitch rows, now our next row is going to be a single crochet row, chain one, and flip our work. Since we're along the increase end, we're going to start with another increase of three, and this is our row number ten. So insert with one, into that same first stitch with two, then same first stitch with three. 
and put one single crochet into every chain space and single crochet till we reach the end. All right, let's start our moss stitch again. So chain two, flip our work, skip one stitch, single crochet into the next, chain one, skip one, single, and continue to do this till we reach the end. Once we reach the end of this row, do a chain two to start our next moss stitch row and flip our work into every chain one space. Insert with one single crochet with a chain one in between. All right, we've made our way all the way down. We're about to get started on our row number 13, which is our last single crochet row, and let you guys move on. So go ahead and chain one and flip your work. And as you guys can see, the increase is on the opposite side. So put one single crochet into every stitch. And then do an increase of three into that last stitch. All right, we put one single crochet into every stitch. Into that last one, let's do our increase. So there's one, there's two, and then there's three. And then once we have that, we are going to maintain our two moss stitch rows and our single crochet row with an increase along this increase end. And I will meet you guys back once when this increase corner reaches all the way up to where we want our strap to be, making sure that we meet back right after a single crochet row along the bottom. I have just finished up going in with all of my rows for my cup, and I have a total of 46 rows. My width is 10 inches or 25 centimeters, and then also my height is about 6 inches or 15 centimeters, and we should have all ended along the blunt end right after a single crochet row. And now we're going to get started with our underarm portion. So what we're going to do from here is get started on our next moss stitch row, where we're going to do our moss stitches going all the way up until this reaches right where our underarm is, making sure that we're placing this up to ourselves. So all I'm going to do from here is do a chain two, because that's how we start off all of our moss stitch rows. Flip my work and just do the first one with you guys. I'm going to skip one stitch, single crochet into the next. And there's my first chain one space. Let's do just one more. Chain one. Skip one stitch, single crochet into the next. Now I'm going to keep doing this until I have a total of 11 chain spaces, and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so I have made my way all the way up to where I want my underarm portion to start. And like I said in the previous clip, I have a total of 11 chain spaces. Our next moss stitch row is going to be pretty much the same thing, and then we're going to be decreasing into our single crochet row. So just to start off our next moss stitch row, chain two. Flip our work, then insert your hook into that first chain space with a single crochet. When we reach the end of this row, do a chain one, flip your work, and then put one single crochet into every stitch, leaving the last three so that we can do a decrease together. I've just single crocheted my way all the way up, and I have left my last one, two, three stitches left, and now we're going to do a decrease of three. So start by inserting your hook into that next stitch. Yarn over, pull through, into that next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then into that last stitch, yarn over, and pull through. Should be four loops on our hook, so we're going to yarn over and pull through all four. And once we have that, we're going to repeat our two moss stitch rows and then a single crochet with a decrease along the top. So just to start this off, do a chain two, flip your work, skip a stitch, and then single crochet into the next. Do our two moss stitch rows and then I will meet you guys back right before we get started on a single crochet row because we should start it at the top. So I'll show you guys how to do a decrease of three one more time. We have just finished up our two moss stitch rows and now we're ready to get started on our next single crochet row, starting with a decrease of three. So chain one and flip your work. Inserting your hook into that first stitch, yarn over, pull through, into that next stitch, which is a chain one space, insert, pull through, and then into that next stitch, which is a single crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four, and then continue to put one single crochet into every chain one space and single crochet. And keep repeating our two moss stitch rows and our single crochet row with a decrease of three along the top until this portion shrinks down to the size that we want our back panel to be, and then I'll meet you guys back. I just finished up my underarm portion and I now have a total of 58 rows and my total width is 12 and a half inches or 32 centimeters. 
And from here, we're not going to do any more increases or decreases. We're going to continue on with the rows of two moss stitches and single crochet until this can reach around to the middle of our back. And then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so I'm back and I have just finished up my back portion. I now have a total of 79 rows and my total width is 16 and a half inches or 42 centimeters. And once we have one entire piece done, we're going to make one more identical piece. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can seam it together. All right, so now that we have both of our panels all finished up, we're going to seam our back. So what we're gonna do is insert our yarn onto our hook, making sure that our hook is in through the corner stitches of both panels. We're gonna pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. And now we're gonna do a single crochet seam. So start by inserting your hook into that next stitch into the front panel, and then into the next stitch into the back panel, and then single crochet. Let's do this again. Into that next stitch into the front panel, insert your hook, into the next stitch into the back panel, insert your hook, and then single crochet. We're gonna keep doing this, making our way all the way down. Once we reach the end, do a chain up of one and cut, and then we'll meet you guys back. All right, now that we have seamed our back panels together, what we're going to do now is seam the bottom. So what we're gonna have to do is figure out where we want the point of our wrap to be. So go ahead and put this up to yourself, and then you guys can insert your stitch markers wherever you guys need it. But I will let you guys know that my stitch marker is actually right where the first underarm row is, and that is the same on both sides, but yours can be further in, further out, completely up to you guys. And what we're going to do is insert your hook into that row and then also into the corner stitch of the other cup as well. And then now we're going to single crochet everything together. All right, so I'm gonna insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. We're now going to single crochet into every side row, making sure we're going into both the front and back panel at the same time. So let's get that started. My next row that I have is a single crochet row. If yours is a moss stitch row, that's completely fine. Just insert your hook into there. And then also into the back panel as well. Into the back panel, I have a moss stitch row. So I'm gonna insert into there and then single crochet them together. Let's do this again. My next row in the front is a moss stitch row. So I'm gonna insert. And then my next row in the back panel is a moss stitch row as well. So go ahead and single crochet. And we're gonna keep doing this, making our way all the way around. So I'm just gonna do one more set with you guys, just for good measure. Into the front panel, my next row is a moss stitch. So insert. Into the next row, into the back panel is a single crochet. Find that loop, single crochet. And then into my next, into the front panel is a single crochet. So insert your hook. And then into the next row, into the back panel, which is a moss, single crochet. We're gonna keep doing this, making our way all the way down, making sure that our point reaches our stitch marker to make it all even. And then from there, just continue to do our single crochets, one into every side row, making our way all the way around. Slip stitch into that chain one space, and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so now that we have single crocheted along the entirety of the bottom of our piece, we're now going to make a chain the length that we want our bottom band to be. Now I want mine to be about two inches or five centimeters, so I'm gonna start by making a chain of 12. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain of one. That counts as our turning chain, not as a stitch, and into that chain that we blocked off, for the second chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a slip stitch. So insert, yarn over, and pull through both loops on your hook. Let's do this again. Into that next chain, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through everything. We're gonna continue to put one slip stitch into every chain. All right, so now that we have slip stitch into every chain, we're now gonna slip stitch into the next stitch into the base to close off this row. So into that next stitch, we're gonna insert, yarn over, and pull through everything to close off this first row. To work our way up to the next row, we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch, flip our work, and now we're gonna put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, so let's do the first one. Into that first stitch, we're gonna insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. Let's do that again. Into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through everything, and then just once more into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. Continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And now that we're at the end of our row number two, 
we're going to chain one. That's our turning chain, doesn't count as a stitch. Flip our work, and we're going to continue with our back loop slip stitches. So let's do this again. Into that first available back loop, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through everything. Into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through everything, and continue to do this, making our way all the way down. Connect it into the base the same way that we just did, and now we're going to repeat these two rows, making our way all the way around until we don't have any more stitches left. Then I'll meet you guys back so that we can seam our bottom band. All right, so I've just made my way all the way around with my back loop slip stitch rows. I don't have any more stitches left, and now we're ready to seam it together. So the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that our work is slipped right side out, and that means that the seam for the back is along the inside. And what we're going to do from here is insert our hook into the corner stitch of the back panel. Since our hook is already in through this corner stitch, because that's our working yarn, and we're going to yarn over and pull through everything on our hook. And from here, we're going to be doing an outside loop slip stitch seam. So let's do the first one. We're all going to start by inserting our hook into that first available stitches front loop or the loop that's closest to us. And then into the back panel, we're going to insert our hook into that back loop or the loop that's furthest away from us. We should all have three loops on our hook now. So yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. Let's do another one. Into the next stitch, into the front panel, insert your hook in through that front loop only, and then into the next stitch into the back panel, insert it into that back loop. Yarn over and pull through everything. And from here, we're going to continue to do our outside loop slip stitch seam, making our way all the way down until we don't have any more stitches left, and then do a chain up of one and cut. All right, we're now ready to get started on our strap. So the first thing we're gonna do is insert our hook into the first side stitch that we have that's right next to the back seam. So I'm gonna insert my hook into here, insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, and I'm going to do a chain up of one to secure. And from here, we're going to put one seam crochet into every side row, making our way all the way up to this point. So let's start. Insert your hook into this first side row that we have right here. My first side row is this moss stitch row. Yours can be a single crochet, that doesn't matter. We'll go ahead and insert your hook with one single crochet. Let's do the next one. This is my next side row, which is a moss stitch. I'm gonna insert with another single crochet. Keep doing this, making our way all the way up to the point, and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so I have just single crocheted my way all the way up to this point. And right before we get started with the strap, you're going to need to insert our stitch marker where we want the strap to connect it to. So if you guys wanna go in with my numbers, I've inserted my stitch marker into the ninth stitch from this first single crochet that we made. And this measurement is just about two inches or five centimeters, but yours could be shifted over or shifted further. Does not matter. But once we have that, what we're going to do is try on our piece. And we're going to make a chain that reaches from this corner going up and over our shoulder that can comfortably connect to this back stitch. So I've already measured mine out, and mine is going to be a chain of 50, and that's just about 11 inches or 28 centimeters. All right, so now that I have my chain, all we're gonna do from here is flip our work over, insert your hook into that stitch with our stitch marker in it. We're gonna yarn over and pull through everything with a slip stitch, if I can. There we go. And then all we're gonna do from here is do a chain up of one and cut. And then we're going to repeat everything that we just did here on the other side. So just single crochet all the way up to this corner, make a chain, and then connect it into the same stitch. And then I'll meet you guys back. We have just finished up doing both of our straps. And the next thing we're going to do is clean up the edge of the wrap portion, and then single crochet around the chain and along the back just to make the whole thing a little bit thicker. So this is gonna be pretty easy. I'm just going to tell you guys where to insert your hook. So making sure that our work is slipped right side out and right side up, we're gonna start with this point of our wrap and then we're gonna work our way up. But the first thing that we're going to have to do is find any one of our stitches along the base because we don't wanna start our single crochet into here, otherwise it won't be secure. So I'm just gonna find any one of these loops into the base, into the bottom band. I'm gonna insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through. And since this is close to the point, all I'm gonna do is insert my hook into that first side stitch, which this should be a side half double crochet. So I'm gonna reach my hook all the way over here, 
find that side loop, and then I'm going to single crochet, making sure that I'm pulling nice and tight so that this point is pulled down like that. And then from here, we're going to single crochet, putting one single crochet into every side row. So let's just do the first few. This is my first side row right here, which is a moss stitch. Insert with one single crochet. And this is my next insert with another single crochet. And keep doing that, making our way all the way up. When we reach the chain, put one single crochet into every chain. And then one single crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way up and around. Working down this portion of the wrap and slip stitching right where this corner is. Go ahead and get all of that done, and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, we have just single crocheted along pretty much everything, and we are all done. The last thing we're gonna have to do is weave in all of our ends. All right, and there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Pinterest or Twitter. Those links are down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye!